Yo guys, Everything Technology here. Today I am partnering up with Skillshare to show you how I make my videos. Um, I really hope this can help you out as a creator, maybe in your process of creating your videos. And if you're looking into becoming a YouTuber or just some form of content creator, hopefully you get some inspiration on, you know, to help your process um, be a little bit more efficient. Let's get right into it. Okay, so it first starts off with an idea. I could be in class, I could be at Starbucks doing some homework, maybe I could be walking across the street in the shower, um, talking to a friend, or I was just watching a video and I got some inspiration. I literally come up with random tech video ideas at any moment, like I don't just like sit down and brainstorm, it's more of like, you know, an idea just hits me, I write it down on Google Keep or the minimal to-do list app that's, I'm pretty sure it's available on the Play Store as well, but I use it on my iPhone. But if it's not, um, I'll link um, an alternative app that you can use. But Google Keep is definitely the app I use for the most part to jot down that idea and to make sure that it's saved. Okay, so once I've taken note of that idea, I then sit on it for a couple of weeks. Not because I'm doing this purposely, but simply because most of the times I have an idea, I already have a bunch of other videos that already um, aligned for that specific month or the next couple weeks so it takes me a while to come back to that idea and then to begin the video process so once um, I am now in that process it's been a couple weeks it's now time to pull up Google Docs um, I love Google Docs and I use a lot of Google applications um, as you're going to notice in this video, I use Google Keep, Google Docs to really keep up with my videos. Google Docs is what I use for typing uh, my scripts. And the reason I use it is because it's accessible both on my phone, um, on the computer, or literally anywhere um, where I have access to the internet. And same thing with Google Keep. So most of the time I pull up Google Docs on my computer and then I start writing the script for that video idea. Um, depending on the idea, it's either gonna be a fully scripted video or I jot down a few points on what I wanna talk about in the video. Like for example, for this video, I'm literally just speaking um, outside of my head with a few bullet points. This is not fully scripted. So you're gonna hear a lot of more ums than um, a typical everything technology video. Now the scripting process takes anywhere from about a couple hours to a couple of days. And that's because sometimes I'm able to just knock it down and do a full script in one to two hours. And then I have other days where I'm just not able to concentrate and sit down and work on it um, for that long. It just really depends on the video idea or really depends on how I'm feeling. But for the most part, it can take a couple hours, but I tend to take a couple of days or longer than that. Before I move on to the next step of how to create my videos, I want to first thank our sponsor Skillshare. I felt that they would be a great sponsor simply because it's an online learning community for creators. If you're now or an existing content creator and are interested in learning some of the softwares or tools I use to create my videos, then consider Skillshare membership which gives you unlimited access to classes and communities that are just right for you for less than $10 a month. Some of my favorite classes have to be um, the Final Cut Pro video editing classes where you can learn how to edit from import to finish and I really like some of the filmmaking classes as well. Whether you want to fill your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. They were even kind enough to provide the first 500 of you guys with a free two month trial. All you gotta do is visit the first link in the description. Once I'm done with the script, it's now time to pull up Audacity on my MacBook. Um, and this is what I use to record voiceovers. And I really like Audacity simply because it's a free to use software. Um, it's available both on Windows as well as Mac. Um, I'll have links to download that in the description alongside every other software or anything specific I talk about or mention in this video. And the mic I use for my voiceovers right now is currently the Fifine mic, which I've mentioned in uh, multiple videos. I recently got it actually as like a free review unit, but I ended up really liking it and enjoying it and now I use it as a main mic for my videos. But for this video, I'm using actually the Rodelink mic. When I'm doing voiceovers, it typically doesn't take that long compared to most people. Um, I'm really able to do it in like one take a lot of times, but I do have those days where for some reason I just keep stuttering or I just can't speak, so I have to keep restarting. Um, but for the most part, it really just takes me about one take and no longer than 30 minutes to knock down a full voiceover for a video and about, I'd say 30 to 45 minutes to do the voiceover as well as edit the voiceovers and cut out all the parts that um, didn't make any sense or if I set an album or something like that, then I'll cut that out as well. Okay, so now once I'm done with voiceovers, it's now time to do A-roll and B-roll. And if you don't know what A-roll means, A-roll is literally um, me just talking to you guys, as you can see. This is what's considered A-roll as a video editor. And B-roll would be like me throwing in some like product shots or like if I started talking about like 
um, the monitor I used to edit my videos and, I, and you can now see the monitor, that's what's considered B-roll. Anyway, this process takes a minute. Um, it's not my favorite process, especially recording B-roll. It can get boring sometimes, but I like to throw on some Spotify, my lit playlist and you know, turn up as I'm shooting B-roll because it can get long and annoying because um, you're just sitting there getting different angles of a product and it does get very repetitive sometimes, especially when I'm shooting in my room. So every now and then I like to go out and do something a little bit different. But I do have those days when I'm able to just knock it out and you know, finish it quickly, like in about one to two hours. But for the most part, I'd say anywhere from two to five hours, um, depending on how I'm feeling. And as for A-roll, when I'm sitting there talking in front of the camera, that takes about 30 minutes. Um, not that long of a process because most of the times I don't do full on A-roll for my videos. I just do A-roll for the intro and the outro part of the video. Okay, so now that we're done with A-roll and B-roll, it's now time to import all that footage onto my computer. And that takes about five to 10 minutes. And I would say my average video um, takes up about like 10, 20, sometimes even 30 gigs of storage. And the reason the files are really big, it's because um, majority of my videos are shot in 4K. Not necessarily majority, like all my videos are shot in 4K, including the one that you're watching right now. Once everything is done importing to my computer, I now import that into Final Cut Pro, which is a software I used to edit all the videos on the channel. I've been using Final Cut Pro for the past, I would say, two, almost three years now. Uh, before that, I was using Adobe Premiere, and before that, I was using Sony Vegas Pro. So I'm pretty familiar with a lot of video editors, but I've come to really love um, how well Final Cut works, especially on my MacBook, since it's well integrated. Um, exporting is fast, playback is really fast, and it's just super efficient for my workflow and what I do with my tech videos, as well as for other client work I do outside of YouTube. The editing process can take anywhere from, I would say like two to three hours to even a couple of days. It just really varies on the video I'm editing, but on average, I would say about two to three hours. And this is by far my favorite step of creating um, the whole video because I get to watch it all come together and where I get to play around with the background music uh, to think about if I want to do a cool cinematic intro or not. I generally enjoy the editing process and I never get bored of it. Once I'm done editing, it's time to export. Exporting times are really fast because I am rocking a pretty powerful machine and that is a 15 inch MacBook Pro um, mid to late, mid to late, I think it's mid. 2017 with touch bar. Um, it gets a job done. Exporting speeds, I get anywhere from five to 10 minutes depending on the video. Pretty fast process. And now it's time to upload once it's done exporting and boom, you're watching the video on YouTube. And yup, that is how I create my videos. And that's how this video was created that you're watching right now. It started off as an idea. It then went to a script, then to voiceovers, then to A-roll and B-roll. Then it was edited, exported, and uploaded on YouTube. And you're watching it. This has been Victor with another Everything Technology video. I really hope you found this video useful. I mean, if you did, let me know down in the comment section. If you're a content creator, if you're looking into becoming a content creator, I would love to know in the comment section. Link me your channels. Um, I'll, you know, like to check out some of the stuff you guys do on YouTube. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.